Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So the Overwatch 2 beta is only a few sleeps away and I'm already seeing a lot of hype and excitement in the community and I'm super stoked to explore and share everything new with you all so fingers crossed that everybody gets in. Now as some of you may know, I'm a Mercy main myself and I know a lot of you guys also play Mercy and are curious to know how she feels to play in Overwatch 2. So today we're going to do a quick video just talking about my experiences playing her in the alpha and showcasing some gameplay. Again, please note that any footage footage shown here is strictly from the alpha only and may be quite different from the beta when it comes out. Okay, let's start off with looks because I know that's pretty much all Mercy players care about. Just kidding. As we know, Mercy has been redesigned. However, her new look was actually not included in the alpha. Same with the other heroes who got redesigns. I'm assuming the dev team wants to save the redesigns for the beta and judging by the recent Sojourn trailer where all the heroes were spotting new looks, we will likely see them next week. Having played Mercy firsthand in the alpha, I feel that her changes are largely aesthetic and aren't as significant compared to some of the other heroes who got reworks or multiple changes to their kits. Her beam now feels girthier and looks sleeker and the healing and damage boost animations have also been updated. Otherwise, I found that her res animation and movement largely felt the same as Overwatch 1. Now I know the question that is burning on everyone's minds and yes, ladies and gentlemen, I can confirm that Mercy's super jump is still in Overwatch 2. There is also a new user interface whenever you heal or damage boost a teammate as indicated by your teammate's hero icon popping up on the screen. However, while this may look better visually, I actually find it harder to read since the health bar of the person you're healing is much smaller compared to the live version and also the player's name doesn't appear on screen. When it comes to audio, Mercy's sound effects have also been tweaked slightly and the ticks are much more noticeable when you're damage boosting a teammate. The sound of her pea shooter is also noticeably crisper and more satisfying in my opinion. Okay, let's talk about stats. So Mercy's healing has not really changed and is still a solid 55 health per second. There was a moment in time where they tinkered with it a bit and lowered it to 50 HP per second, but that felt really awkward and awful um, because it was just so hard to keep your teammates, especially your tanks up. So that's been reverted now. What has changed, however, is that Mercy's passive now stacks with the support role passive to increase its self healing effects. So Mercy now passively regenerates 20 HP per second compared to the other supports with 10 HP per second. Overall, I think that Mercy actually feels pretty good to play, especially in a 5v5 format. With one less player to worry about, she seems a bit more impactful considering that she doesn't really need to reload or aim much. On the other hand, there were times where I definitely needed to pay more attention to my positioning given that now there's just so much more open space for enemies to try and flank and target the supports. This was definitely something that I noticed playing support in general and not just Mercy specifically. To add to this, I guess the support role just feels a bit underwhelming in general compared to DPS which clearly has the spotlight going into Overwatch 2. In particular, the support role passive just seems negligible and playing support sometimes feels like you're a sitting duck to enemy flankers. I'm hoping that by the time the beta rolls around, the support role gets a bit more of a quality of life change or buff because the DPS role in general just seems a bit too strong in comparison. Anyway, those are my quick thoughts on how Mercy currently feels to play in Overwatch 2. The rest of the video is just some gameplay footage that I recorded during the alpha to let you guys see how she plays for yourself. So enjoy and let me know if you have any comments, thoughts or questions down below.